Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin to the comp video. We're going to be discussing the Scorpio. So several people actually messaged me this via Facebook. So I figured it's good for me to cover because it seems to be by popular demand. Uh, that would be on facebook.com slash redgamingtech. So a user by the name of True Xbox Fan, I wonder what console he supports. Anyway, he asked very simply, are devs already working on the Scorpio or not yet? And Phil Spencer responded, yes, hardware, platform and games, end quote. Now, while I agree that is a fairly meager amount of information, it does let us know that Microsoft are actually kind of on the ball with this thing. And we can start to have a few speculations on the whole subject, because from what we saw with the um, trailer, I guess you could say, that Microsoft shown off just a couple of months ago regarding the Scorpio, they already have a prototype that's being worked on. Now, whether some of this stuff was just soldered on to make it look nice, or whether the actual hardware was working, unfortunately, we don't know. We do know a few things. We do know that the system is capable of about six T-flops. Whether it might be slightly over that, maybe just ever so slightly under that, we don't know. But let's just call a spade a spade at the moment and say it's six T-flops. We don't know exactly the amount of uh, RAM that's available. However, given certain figures that have been touted by Microsoft, including 320 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, it's very likely that we're looking 12 gigabytes of GDDR. 5 memory. Um, we know that it has an 8 core processor. Unfortunately, we don't know how or what has changed with that. It's possible it could be an up clocked Jaguar, it could be an improved iteration of the same engine, uh, I'm sorry, of the same processor. Or it could be something a little different, for example, Zen like, but Zen is very unlikely to make its presence felt in the Scorpio, but who knows, could be wrong. So, what we do understand is that the system essentially is a lot more powerful than the Xbox One, and um, the six T flops available. Microsoft are touting the system as capable of rendering at 4K. And while I do mostly agree with that as a theoretical concept, there are some caveats. Um, and this really comes down to how a game is internally rendered into the system. Now, I've discussed at length previously in my um, Neo video and Scorpio video on the different rendering models, including tile-based rendering, but as a too long didn't read, it is a method that some games developers are pushing towards. We've seen Gorilla Games use it, we've seen Ubisoft or Ubisoft, however you want to pronounce it, with Rainbow Six, and it is a method of reducing the workload on the GPU and pushing a high degree of, uh, or higher resolution, shall I say, on screen. Unfortunately, the problem comes that 60 FPS at 4K requires a lot of power, and even 30 FPS compared to a 30 FPS 1080p image is still a lot of horsepower. It takes roughly four times the amount of GPU performance, assuming both are using the equivalently same rendering technique. So what I'm basically saying is that and I'm answering a semi other question I had on Facebook. You know, will this usher in a dawn of incredible graphics with the Scorpio? Yeah, we're going to definitely see higher quality graphics, but developers are not going to have an unlimited pool. It is a simple case of they've got more GPU, more CPU, more memory, but there is only a budget that can stretch a certain amount. So, for example, if they decide to go for a native 1080p frame buffer, um, with the original Xbox or the Xbox One S, well, if they want to push that all the way to 4K for the Scorpio, by all means, they can probably do it with the uh, GPU performance they've got, considering the GPU in the Scorpio roughly is about four times faster. The problem is doing just that, increasing the pixel quality that amount, swallows up all of the GPU performance. So if you start going ahead and saying, well, 
actually I want better lighting quality or I want much better draw distances or I want improved other levels of detail, for example advanced tessellation or maybe some physics effects and put those onto the GPU. Sorry, can't really do that because the majority of the GPU has already been swallowed up, eaten alive simply by the higher pixel count, which is probably one of the reasons that Phil and Microsoft as a company somewhat retracted their statement and said well we're allowing developers to utilize the GPU however they want. Um, as it is the six T flops inside the Scorpio is still faster than a GTX 970 it's faster than an R9 290 and it's about equivalent to the RX 480 depending on the clock speed of the RX 480 because there are some cards which actually have slight overclocks to them which pushes it just a little bit above that uh, over that speed so it's going to be a very interesting couple of uh, years I think when we start seeing what these systems are capable of comparing it to the Neo and I don't want to make too much of a big thing about this because I've already covered it a couple of times and also I want to cover this in a slightly different respect in a future video but the Neo gets stomped in its current state um, from what we know versus the Xbox Scorpio it just gets stomped I mean it's 4.2 teflops whether Sony do decide to increase the performance and that's an entire separate subject in and of itself remains to be seen but taking it as it is right now 4.2 versus 6 is no real question and I did cover a rumor just a couple of days ago that Sony have already been asked internally by developers that would be their own first party studios which we could assume to be the Naughty Dogs and the Gorilla Games and they've said dudes this is not enough memory um, they're actually asking Sony for more memory now do remember the Neo has around 512 megabytes more than the, than the uh, base model available but that's still not enough so this means that Sony obviously have already um, started to provide development kits to well developers and it's probable Microsoft are doing very similar now there's a very simple question we can ask and that is what do those development kits entail you could say well a development kit is the Scorpio as we see it in the video that you know we've all seen the bloody sock by now it's probably burnt etched into your memory you're probably gonna see it at night at this rate but um, it could be that or it could be as I said that's just a concept it could just be a whole bunch of crap that was soldered onto the board and it doesn't work or it could be Microsoft have built like five of the things and then keeping them internally close to their chest and maybe Phil Spencer guards them with um, you know militia I don't know I'm just saying that they might not be sending them out to third parties they may just be keeping them for their internal studios and it's possible that those developers are needing to work with SDKs and basically giving target machines now what those target machines could be is GCN based graphics cards and processors 8 core processors and they're basically saying hey this is what the target spec is, this is the SDK, work with DirectX 12, remember it is Windows based anyway, so go nuts. So this statement in and of itself, considering that it's not even 2017 yet, we've got well over a year before the Xbox Scorpio, assuming it's released in October, November time, which is probable, uh, considering it says holiday 2017, it wouldn't make sense for it to be earlier than October, and... I can assume it wouldn't really be much later than very early December. So personally, and this is me throwing a dart towards a board even though I don't really play that, but let's just assume I did for a second. This is me saying I'm going to assume it's going to be around November time because, you know, mid-November makes sense. So given that developers are definitely working on something because let's face it Microsoft want to win over developers at this stage anyway um, hopefully that's answered the questions that people have been uh, throwing over to me over the past day or two um, I'm gonna be going now so take care of yourselves
Bye.